Hi there, welcome back to the Regimentals YouTube channel and um, today will be just a very short and sweet update uh, on how things are going here at Regimentals uh, relating to the COVID-19 pandemic. Just to keep you um, in the loop of how our business is being affected and also let you know we are still updating um, tomorrow. Uh, it will be quite a big update. Um, there will be some lower priced items um, and some few, a few special items on there as well. And I've just got a couple of bits here just to feature, which are gonna be on the video, um, just to keep some content of Militaria in this, in this video. However, the main reason is to let you know about changes here at Regimental. So straight into that. First of all, um, I'll briefly tell you now that our website will be changing in the next few weeks. We haven't set a date yet, but we are launching a new website. Now, um, it will be run by the same people. However, there's going to be changes to things like departments um, and changes to the way you pay and the way you uh, place your order and get information from us once you've placed your order. So the, the departments will be condensed. So um, all Commonwealth items or allies will be placed in with the British um, and all the Axis countries will be placed in with the German items. Um, and then they'll be um, in sections of World War One and World War II. Um, plus we'll have our arms and armor section for the earlier items, but there'll be no post-war section. Some post-war items will be removed completely from the website and others will be incorporated into the World War II section. So one of the things that will change regarding placing an order is that we're going to be moving over to accepting more PayPal payments. So um, you'll notice as you place your order, it will now give you the option to pay by PayPal and you should be able to um, then separately go onto our PayPal and pay into there. I don't think we will be able to accept credit card payments on our website. This is one of the things that is a bit fluid at the moment. We don't know. Um, it might be a case of you place your, your order and then we contact you um, afterwards to receive payment. But we're really going to push for payment by bank transfer and PayPal rather than credit card. Um, but that's something that I can update you with uh, at a later date. And lastly, the only other major change on our website is that um, this controversial subject that some people say, oh, when items get removed from your website, we, we can't see it anymore. Um, that is going to change. So um, most items, nearly everything, uh, will be, as soon as it's ordered, it will change to reserved or go into our um, into an archive so that all those items that you buy, you will still be able to see on the website and download the photos yourself. Um, and also that gives uh, the customers who missed an item a chance to see all the items that they're missing out on to encourage you to get on there faster and, and, and buy your militaria. So moving on to the uh, coronavirus and how it's affecting us at Regimentals. Um, as many of you know, there's really only two or three of us that work here and sometimes that puts us under huge pressure to get um, things done, respond to emails, uh, parcels going out. Nothing is changing at the moment. Um, my father was ill um, after returning from America. He was in bed for two weeks. I, I was ill as well after returning from America. However, we don't think it was the coronavirus. We think it was another form of virus. We're both better now. We're both at work. Um, however, naturally, uh, with shipping and stuff, things are slowing down. So please be patient. If you place an order, it might take a little bit longer than normal. Um, how it has affected us majorly is the, the, the currencies and the change in the currency rates. So as you may have noticed, the pound has dropped against the euro and the dollar. So therefore, uh, customers who are in Europe and uh, customers in America or paying in dollars will notice how prices on our website have suddenly dropped. That's because we've changed the price that we set on our website. Now, many of you might view the website in pounds and some might view it in your own currency. But if you're, if you're confused as to why an item you were considering buying was a thousand pounds and it's now 900, it's because of the change in the euro and the dollar against the pound. So just keep an eye on those prices because if the pound starts to rise again, those prices will return back to the prices they were. It's a very good opportunity for you guys who aren't in the pound, uh, the people in America, the people um, in Europe, to buy items cheaper now than it was a few days ago. So I was concerned that this video would be really boring because I'm giving you information. Um, so. Um, as I said, we are updating the, the website tomorrow. There'll be 150, maybe 200 items going on. Quite a big update. Um, and I thought it was important just to few, show you a few pieces, just so I have some military content in the video. Um, so what I just want to run through with you is a couple of pieces that I particularly liked um, from this update. This here is a, a first pattern Africa Corps uh, cap. 
with a with a red sutash on it. All original insignia. But what's interesting about it is you can see that there's two different types of material used. Now, when you look under the seam of the cap uh, where the sutash has been applied, you can see uh, quite clearly the remains of a previous sutash. So what I think has happened with this cap is it's been reissued and gone back to a, a tailor or a field tailor who has um, re repaired or restored uh, the peak with a, a, a new a new peak, new cloth, um, put on a new sutash for whatever uh, unit the soldier is in. But of course, because it wasn't important to them, they weren't thinking of collectors at the time, they've just left the remains of the old sutash there. Um, so historically, this is a particularly interesting cap with a, a you know, obviously quite an interesting past. Um, but of course, because it's not your textbook cap, um, obviously the price comes down. You know, it's not the kind of cap where I can charge five thousand pounds for it because it's not textbook. Um, but it, it's it's ideal for that customer who appreciates the history of such items and understands that, that these things were changed, they were adapted, um, and that's going to be on the website at just under three thousand pounds. So you know, a really nice thing with lots of age and wear. And I think the maker is unusual. I think it was Gustav Thomas as well, which is an unusual maker. That was particularly nice. The next item I wanted to feature was this um, Saxon Guard Writer helmet. Now, what I like about this personally, like enlisted man's items, and to find a Saxon Guard Writer for an enlisted man is particularly quite hard to do. But that is a very, very nice thing. Uh, that is on the website, that's going to be uh, 3,250. And then the third um, item of headdress that I really like is this Waffen SS Panzer um, Enlisted Man's or NCO's side cap or overseas cap lovely condition uh, Bevo insignia to the front, completely untouched. But what's nice about it is the wear on the lining inside. It's almost purpled where it's been worn and washed and, and faded away. Really nice thing. And these Waffen SS uh, Panzer caps are getting extremely hard to find. This one is going to be on the website for £3,500. But that to me is one of the star pieces of the update. Um, slightly cheaper item, but still, again, it's my taste. So, you know, I'm looking at the things that I like. This is a pair of shirt weight Luftwaffe tropical um, uh, shoulder straps for the, sh for, the, for the blue shirt. Really hard to find and the, the age and the wear on them is absolutely brilliant for something that was probably worn in Africa. Um, you know, you see a lot of the tan coloured tropical uh, Luftwaffe shirts, but to find the blue shirt is quite hard. But to find the shoulder boards for it is even harder. There's going to be many people out there who have the shirt. Um, but don't have the shoulder boards, so that is a, a, a real prime piece. Okay, and lastly, I wanted to show this small piece of insignia. It's very rare, um, and it's the it's the NSFK uh, ballooning insignia, but in bullion, in cloth and bullion. Very, very rare, lovely quality. Um, you know, it's, it's more the item for your collector who has got all the other bullion badges, so it's for an advanced collector, really. It's going to be on the website at £850. Um, but a stunning piece and particularly hard to find. So they are the pieces I wanted to feature. Um, there's nothing more to say at the moment, just uh, to wish you all well, um, keep safe, keep healthy, and hopefully we'll post another video when we are in slightly better times.